Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explain channel. In this session, I am going to discuss details of hydraulic power pack or a hydraulic power unit. Here, commonly in the industries and the different fluid power applications, we are going to use the hydraulic power packs or hydraulic power units. And here I am going to discuss what is meant by hydraulic power pack and what are the different components of the hydraulic pack and how those components work. A hydraulic power pack is a standalone assembly consisting of a hydraulic reservoir, hydraulic pump, electric motor, control valves, and filters and accessories. Here we can see that one. The hydraulic power pack it is a standalone system. It is a provides the the hydraulic power and that standalone assembly system what is there that is used for the different application and that is not interconnected with any other systems and that is called as a hydraulic power pack or hydraulic unit. It consists of a reservoir, motor to run the pump and later the control valves it may be direction control valve pressure control valve flow control valve and after that it will the flow line will be supplied to a hydraulic actuator and that is producing a output work either it may be linear or it may be a rotary and for that the other the accessories is used there is a suction filter oil temperature indicator the line connections pressure gauges all these components are used along with the main components. The only the five main components you can see and different accessories are connected in the hydraulic power pack. The main components of hydraulic power pack are you need are hydraulic power pack HPP are critical in various industrial settings, providing the driving force for hydraulic systems. They consist of several key components, each playing a vital role in the unit's overall functionality and efficiency. That first one is a reservoir. The reservoir holds the hydraulic fluid necessary for the system's operation. It also plays a role in cooling the fluid and helps in separating air and contaminants. When the fluid comes to the reservoir, there it mixes with the fluid in the reservoir. And thereby cooling will be taking place and there the filters uh, they are used in the suction valve and there the separating of the air and contaminants will be taking place. The size and material of the reservoir often steel or aluminum a material is used for the reservoir are selected based on systems capacity and compatibility with hydraulic fluids. Which type of the hydraulic fluid we are going to use based on that the material is used and also based on system's capacity okay what the power output is required based on that the size of the reservoir is selected next one is hydraulic pump the hydraulic pump initiates the system's operation by converting mechanical energy into hydraulic energy and this is the hydraulic pump is called as a power source of hydraulic system and it is essential for maintaining the required flow and the pressure within the system. The choice of pump, whether it is a cylinder for linear movements, linear motion, gear, vane, or a piston type of motors for the rotary motions. Those are called as the hydraulic motors also. Directly impacts the efficiency and performance of the hydraulic power pack. Okay, this type of the pump will be have the impact on the efficiency and performance of the total system. Motor motor powers the hydraulic pump the to the pump the power is supplied by the motor and can be either electric motor or a combustion engine type we can use the electric motor to run the pump or we can use the combustion engine internal combustion engine to run the hydraulic pump electric motors are popular for their energy efficiency and lower operational cost while combustion engines are prepared in mobile or a remote applications where electricity is unavailable. If the electricity is unavailable, some mobile equipments which are run by the hydraulic powers, those can be run on the internal combustion engines. The earth movers, the some of the 
agriculture equipments and defense equipments there the this internal combustion engines are used and the, in the industry the hydraulic systems are run on the electric motor next control valves there are three types of control valves the first one is a pressure control valve which controls the pressure in the system pressure control valves regulates the hydraulic pressure to safeguard the system from excessive pressure here the what the required pressure is there in the system that is maintained if any excessive pressure is there that will damage the system and that's why that is controlled within the pressure whatever the requirement is there then the system safeguard is taking place okay uh, this these include relief valves those are pressure relief valves pressure reducing valve crucial for maintaining the system safety and longevity here pressure relief valves are used pressure reducing valves are used or we can call as a pressure control valves also and there those will maintains the system safety and longevity next direction control valve direction control valves provides the direction to the fluid in the system okay in which direction the flow of the fluid is taking place that is to be controlled by using the direction control valve next is a flow control valve which will maintains the rate of flow of the fluid in the system and here the rate of flow of the fluid will decides the system speed the actuator what the output is there that speed will be decided by the flow of the fluid which will controlled by the flow control valve pressure control valve will decides the its power output how much power required based on the pressure will be maintained in the system like this the control valves of different types are used in order to control the hydraulic system filters filters maintain the cleanness of the hydraulic fluid which is a vital for system efficiency and longevity they remove the contaminants and particular matter thereby preventing wear and tear of the hydraulic components here to supply the fluid to the hydraulic pump the fluid will be passing through the filters and there the any contaminants are there those are filtered and thereby which will be increases its efficiency okay if you use the the same fluid the contaminated fluid then there will be choking or some other uh, effect will be caused by that contaminants the fluid conductors hoses are and tubes hoses and tubes are responsible for transporting hydraulic fluid throughout the system here the connections from the one part to the another part or one component to the another component through the hoses and tubes and that is responsible for the transportation of the hydraulic fluid in the system the selection of hoses and tubes is based on the required pressure and the flow rate of the system the size is depending upon the flow rate and pressure to withstand that one what is the capacity of that tubes and hoses are required that we are going to decide it with materials chosen for durability and suitability for the specific hydraulic fluid used for that one the particular type of the hoses or tubes are used in the particular hydraulic power pack in summary we can say that each component of hydraulic power pack unit from the pump and motor to the reservoir valves filters and fluid conductors plays a critical role in its function and efficiency the proper selection and maintenance of these components are key to ensuring the optimal performance and longevity of the hydraulic power pack this is about the hydraulic power pack different components and their functions here applications of this hydraulic power pack or hydraulic power unit oil spill clean up equipment marine equipment industrial process oil field mobile equipment construction equipment aerospace test equipment machine tools automation military rolling mill machinery material handling like this where the mechanical motions are required the power transmission is required there we are going to use this hydraulic power pack for the its efficiency and its performance here is the the components of the hydraulic power pack starting from the reservoir and from that the 
filter through that one the fluid will be flowing to the pump and from that pump there is a pressure relief fall and from that accumulator in order to supply the emergency power required and that is a function of the accumulator already i have discussed and after that the control valves are there that it may be a direction control valve or a flow control valve to the cylinder or a motor which is a actuator so that it will be connected and heat exchanger are used in the heavy hydraulic power packs there during its operation the hydraulic fluid temperature will be increases and that can be controlled uh, by passing through the heat exchanger which will uh, transfer the heat to the surrounding atmosphere and thereby the cooling of the hydraulic fluid will be taking place and that is supplied to the reservoir and it will be recirculated in the system for the this hydraulic power pack operation this is about the hydraulic power pack thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment